hello 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 guys and welcome to this video in this video we are going to study hxr coin and what this project is all about so as you can see here as of shooting this recording this video it is to on the ranking of 237 so let's see what this coin has got so as you can see here the market cap is nearly 115 million dollars and fully diluted is nearly 200 million dollars so the team has a certain portion of uh, coins still uh, with them maybe through unlocking or so, some other form but it's still not totally decentralized i think that decentralization is the key and without that uh, things get tough in the longer term but still we don't know yet everything we are just trying to guess the things from this basic information so apart from that um, the coin uh, has been around for a while and now let's move directly to the website but before we we move uh, to the website let me uh, tell you one important thing and that is the valuation so if the market cap of a coin is nearly 115 million then the valuation of that uh, coin can uh, be understood by uh, understanding the uh, net profit yearly net profit so if they are giving back uh, community around 115 million uh, meaning 10 percent of 115 million which is around 11 million dollars a year in net profit and they are giving back to the community to the to the token holders then you can say that this is a fairly valued coin but this is not the only thing because in crypto you may even find many undervalued coins but the thing is that is it decentralized if it is not decentralized then uh, in the longer term the project will not survive and gradually the profit will shrink as well so that's why it is very essential to understand the importance of uh, uh, the decentralization as well so uh, in the in the traditional stock market uh, it is okay if you buy undervalued company but in the cryptocurrency market you need two approaches one is uh, to find undervalued coins and apart from that you also need to uh, have a decentralized coin uh, just like bitcoin because bitcoin is driven by the network of people so if a few people uh, go out of the ne network it doesn't affect the bitcoin and similarly it should be at least 300 400 500 people should be able to run the network and and if that happens only then you can say that it has a chance of uh, doing something good in the long term and if you don't invest for the long term you are not going to get returns like 30x 40x 50x in the next three to five years so that's why survival is the key and survival happens when there is decentralization so of course we'll try to understand all these things uh, in this video but these are the key factors to understand when it comes to investing and that that's what even we are trying to do at long term coin uh, so my my basic the the project here ltc you can also join this general chat uh, here in this and this is the community uh, so you can join here and ask as many question as you want i will put the link in the description and this is the community where i want to create a build a community where people uh, start creating cryptocurrency projects uh, which are totally decentralized meaning the community uh, should design the project in such a way that the project should become self-sustaining just like bitcoin so self-sustaining means that you need to provide incentives to the uh, people uh, who are part of the network to maintain the network and grow the network and all these things are very essential so this is what i'm trying to do but first you can join this and this is of course you will have to pay for this but you can join here if you want to ask any questions because without decentralization nothing happens there is no chance for any project to survive in the longer term without decentralization and that's what my goal is here anyways now let's move to hxro.com so as you can see here that a distributed liquidity layer for derivatives trading and betting application so these are the stats so 321 million lifetime volume network transaction 24 is 200,000 total hxro staked 172 million will trade explore ecosystem okay so now as i as i said in at the starting point uh, that you need to understand how much net profit they are giving back to the community and mainly uh, you also need to understand what amount of uh, community members are driving this uh, ecosystem because if not a lot of people are driving this ecosystem let's assume that there are only few 
uh, founders who are trying to uh, you know control this ecosystem then it is not decentralized and then what happens is that i am not saying that they will do an exit scam or something like that but the projects which are decentralized they will win the war in the longer term against projects that are centralized that's why decentralization of the project is as important as as it can get and it is the toughest thing to do because uh, to make things decentralized you need to connect people from different parts of the world to run and work on the same project and that's what even i am trying to do here i want to build a community uh, which can sustain or on itself and help the help uh, create cryptocurrency projects that are totally uh, self sustaining by creating proper incenti incentivized uh, projects uh, and that's the key that's the core idea and i hope that one day i'll be able to achieve it but the thing is that you need to find ways to get into the decentralized ecosystem and you will uh, and the only way you can do that is by uh, taking part in that process most investors do not think that uh, that way they they think that they will just invest the money and they will get the return well uh, it can work for bitcoin if you invest in bitcoin for 5 years i'm sure you are going to make money but it won't work here in other cryptocurrency projects especially the projects which are not in the top 100 because the the core reason is that uh for them to work you will have to find the decentralized ecosystem and that stuff that stuff and that's that's not easy to do but anyways that's the reality and the more you understand is more you accept it better it is so these are the live d apps open x share as you can see here up or down soul track periswap sdk upcoming d app d app so these are the d app uh, projects on the protocol and this is their ecosystem now let's see their analytics if we can find some interesting stats here uh, which can help maybe it can help us understand the valuation of the project so let's click here stake farming government stocks government stocks okay so as you can see here these are the uh, staking uh, data but it doesn't say anything about uh, how much money they are making in profits and they are giving back to the community so that's why you know you need to dig a lot deeper into the things if you really want to understand uh, the total valuation and of course decentralization so as you can see here there is this section for governance so let's try to uh, understand uh, through this thing that what the govern governance is and uh, what what amount of uh, people are uh, be taking part in the governance so uh, as you can see here let's see the top uh, discussions the top posts so even the top post uh, has uh, in the one year has only eight replies so as you can see the community engagement uh in building the ecosystem is next to nil and what happens is that in such scenario uh the problem happens is that it's it gets very difficult because it now this project seems to be very centralized even though the founders are trying must be trying very hard because it's a big project uh market cap having over 100 million is a big thing not a small thing so in such cases uh even though founders are doing their best they are not uh, doing things in the right direction meaning that they are not uh, trying to build build a community uh which is decentralized you know so they also need to focus on uh how to how to create a community that is decentralized so what generally the problem with most cryptocurrency project is that founders think that if they they will build the community will take part but that's not how the things work if the community if if people if 300 400 5 people are not taking part on the regular basis uh to to build the project to grow the project from the right from the start then uh, the project will never get decentralized that's the thing that's the reality and you have to face it no matter how big the project is and that's why i keep saying the same thing again and again that the decentralization is the key and that's what even i want to achieve here through my project uh, in the long term coin you just have to uh, you know uh, create a build build a community which is connected with each other and which which are a community which is passionate which is passionate about building things together that is the key key point and you cannot you cannot you know 
uh, get rid of that reality that is the biggest and the most important reality in the cryptocurrency market and it is the toughest thing it is the most tough thing uh, to to do that's the reality as well but you gotta you gotta connect with people you gotta you you gotta build the community no matter what because uh, it is even for the uh, greater good of the community as well because if community members will uh, take part in the projects that are uh, trying to be very good uh, in this uh, in decentralizing the project then they will also it will also help them the community members if they they want to launch uh, launch their own cryptocurrency project in the future they will know the process they will know the process of making things de things decentralized very quickly and that's what even my goal is uh, so you gotta uh, f face the reality if you really want to be a successful investor or otherwise you can definitely go and invest in bitcoin or even ethereum because they are genuinely top projects and even though ethereum is not that much decentralized you can always invest in bitcoin because bitcoin is always decentralized was decentralized and always will be decentralized at least even though the small projects might not give you m might uh, not give you uh, you oh no, sorry bitcoin might not give you the returns like uh, 50x 30x but, uh, but at least bitcoin will give you solid returns and it it has certain point of stability which all these projects do not carry that's the problem because they are not decentralized as you can see uh, in in all these discussions in last one year as you can see the top post the top post has only eight replies from the members and this is not decentralization at all mm, when things are decentralized people talk people want to grow this is not bitcoin okay this project is not bitcoin it is not as big as bitcoin where people do not need to discuss about uh, making it bigger because bitcoin is already big but this project is not like that so this is the reality and i i wish that i was able to communicate uh, in a very polite manner although i sometimes gets i get sometimes very excited when i talk about decentralization but this is the reality and we uh, we must expect so so even nobody knows how to run a successful cryptocurrency projects through decentralization because every project will have its different form of decentralization every project will have a different technique needed to make the project decentralization so let's assume that here in my project in my in this community a long-term coin community if if you join this community and uh, let's assume that you all community members deci decide to uh, launch a stable coin backed by bitcoin or something and then you community guys will have to decide how to create the network in such a way that you can keep giving incentives to the people who are running the project so that the 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 process the design the the design of incentivizing the people uh, to grow the project has to be done by the community it cannot be it in and that process has to be decentralized right from the start and otherwise the project will not survive that is the thing that is the thing no matter how much big the market cap becomes even if the market cap is you know 500 million or 10 or 1 billion gradually it will shrink if it is not decentralized of course there are there of course there are projects like binance and others but there are exceptions very few have succeeded like that and even still they also might uh, face trouble in the longer term because the problem is that these guys are f uh, these guys are fighting against decentralization that they are fighting against community so a single entity a single person will always carry uh, you know always find it difficult to run the show forever that's that's not going to happen but we don't know things are the reality is that we don't know but when it comes to at least DeFi, and of course binance is a trading platform so you can take such uh, platforms as exceptions but when it comes to DeFi, you will need the people you will need 500 people to run the show you will need 500 people to run the network so even if a couple of them uh, goes out of the network it doesn't affect the network or uh, if couple of them or even uh, 50 people leave the network uh, there is a chance that another 50, 50 people are uh, willing to join the network that is called decentralization so i hope you understand what i'm trying to say here and now let's see uh, even though we understood the governance part now let's see what we can uh, what other information we can find let's go to the docs session documents uh, section so hxro network overview so as you can see hxro is a distributed liquidity layer for derivatives trading and betting applications built on solana 
through series of core protocols hxro also provides the foundational infrastructure for exchange risk margin and settlement functions needed to construct any derivatives or gaming okay uh, so this concept is definitely good uh, but again uh, what you have to understand is that if will, will, will this project be decentralized if this project is not decentralized e even the great ideas like this will not serve in the longer term so that is the thing all many cryptocurrency uh, projects have really great ideas and they have even executed a certain portion but they are struggling after that because the problem is that they do not find it uh, uh they, they 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 are they are not having the uh, enough resources uh to execute the things and the resources can come only when you build a community when you have uh, decentralization in your hand so that is the reality and building the community with any cr cryptocurrency project any idea uh, any 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 cryptocurrency project success is a, is the key concept and that's why satoshi nakamoto's bitcoin is the best example of decentralization and the bitcoin success is totally because of the decentralization of the network so this is the key concept and the more you understand the better anyways now let's see how hxro works hxro network value acc accrues from transaction fees generated within the protocol 100 percent of the transaction fees are shared between staked hxro token holders specialized node operators active participants network treasury and developer pools uh, vital to the ecosystem functionality so of course i understood that but uh, now the here also there is one simple question which i need to ask that who will decide uh, what percentage will be uh, given to whom and uh, what about the transparency i am sure if you are connected to this project for a pretty long period of time generally very few people do that but if you are connected you might know this but what about uh, giving this information to the people and are they really transparent about that so this these are the questions occur when uh you you go for this uh you for you invest in the projects which are centralized now you will have to do the hard work hard work of digging deep into this yeah it, it is it is possible that they have given all this information pretty clearly but still you will have to waste your time and dig things into deep and still after that even if they are transparent right now it doesn't mean that they will be transparent in the future this is also a key factor of course you also need to understand the valuation part which i talked about in the uh, in the starting of the video that again is a, a concern which is the basic and the most important concern but apart from that all these are also uh, many major concerns which you need to understand if you want to be serious about about investing if you want to uh, find projects which are as secure as bitcoin if if uh, if you are investing in a project uh, whose rank is below 100 and if you are able to find uh, the decentralization uh, similar to bitcoin then of course you got the jackpot but for that you will have to struggle you will have to dig deeper anyways these are the products hxro derivatives that de uh, a flexible uh, dexterity protocol a flexible open source collection of smart contracts that provides the exchange risk and settlement functions needed to launch and maintain any type of derivative uh, contract market so if you are new to crypto and if you don't know what is derivative then futures and options and all these products are called derivative market so uh, this is their derivative protocol apart from that spandex risk engine spandex is the first protocol to use portfolio based method uh, methodology to assess users margin requirements and overall account health in real time okay so this is also again uh, a form of margin trading protocol uh, but again this is uh, you know uh, done in a way even so let me be clear that all these things might be on a DeFi platform meaning that they might be th done through uh, blockchain technology because binance is not doing all this through blockchain they are doing it totally uh, through a single server but if even if it is decentralized and if even if these things are being done through the blockchain the decision of all these things are made sent in a centralized manner that is the problem you have to you will have to understand that the decisions has to be made also uh, in a decentralized manner when you are when you are uh, creating a DeFi protocol, but the management, the 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 people who are running the network uh, or taking the key decisions are centralized. Then again, you can say that this is also centralized way of uh, create uh, of centralized way of creating the cryptocurrency project. So the generally in the cryptocurrency market, if you see the history of the uh, this concept, if this approach, then uh, it has way more. 
losing outcomes than winning outcomes and that's why i keep saying the same thing again and again but gradually you will uh, understand the reality if you will stay longer in the market and that's what my that's what my goal is uh, with the long term coin uh, i want to build a community that at least uh, s- thinks about creating the project uh, which is totally decentralized right from the start if it is decentralized right from the start then what happens is that good things uh, automatically will come good ideas will come to the community how to run the show will come to, uh, ideas about running the show for the longer term giving the designing the incentives to the people will also be very important and again that those ideas will come to the community gradually so this is the key uh, concept uh, which i wanted to talk about uh, while we also studied the hxro network and the video is already be uh, been little bit long now so i'm going to close the vi- uh, sh- stop the video now i hope you enjoyed the vi- the video i i am i just tried to give the wisdom which i have acquired in the cryptocurrency market for last 7 8 years and uh, i hope you enjoyed the show and if you did then you can like the video and uh, if you have any questions about how to be take part uh, how to participate in the long term coin protocol you can just join the telegram group i'll put the link in the description and uh, apart from that uh, decentralization is the key and i i say the same thing almost in my all videos so uh, i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time I'll, and i will also try to make more and more videos now so i hope you enjoyed this video take care bye bye see ya